Oh my goodness, it's concrete day. This is crazy. We've run into a bit of a hiccup, so we didn't necessarily like have a blowout, but this is Simple Living with Beata. My goal is to become more self-sufficient, so I'm learning how to build my dream home and homestead from scratch with no experience. This week is such a huge week. We have an excavator in, and it's the week we pour our concrete foundation. The excavator has just arrived, and we have a huge to-do list for this week to get done. Well, we're back. They're back. Here's my mom, <laughs> and here's Craig. Hey. We're gonna excavate. Well, Craig's gonna excavate. My mom and I are gonna do some other jobs. Saya? Oh. <laughs> the tradition. Mommy, I don't know. I like cinnamon buns, so I'm gonna go with this. Go for a cinnamon bun. I think my mom likes <gasps> apple fritters. <laughs> oh gosh, that's humongous. I like sugar. Up to. What's the first thing we do? Put the window out of the way. <laughs> well, that's how I broke this. I'm not hurt, which is good. And the machine isn't completely broken. Oh, you can take the glass out so you don't break it. Yep. So this is my mom. Her name Hi. is Chantel. One of the things that you guys don't know about her is that she has done a lot of the stuff that I'm doing. She's done drywall, electrical, plumbing, uh, concrete, stamping concrete. Oh yeah. Built behind the fireplace. Yeah, yeah. yeah that Lots. was my proudest moment. And now we're gonna just cut zip ties. Kyle told me that they'll just float and be a pain, and he'll have to be cutting them as he goes and pours concrete. So that's not ideal. So we're doing that, but we have some more fun work to do after this. My mom and I finished the zip ties. Craig is just working away here, moving the brush into piles. Originally, I wanted to rent this machine so that we could have a massive brush fire to get rid of the brush before we build the home. But there's been record setting early forest fires all across Canada this last month. And because of this, there are fire bans and all of the chippers are booked in our area. So we're moving the brush piles into manageable sizes for when the fires are under control and the fire ban is lifted. The reason why Craig isn't making a big giant pile is because it's safer to do smaller piles and feed it with an excavator. So hopefully we can get an excavator back in. And if not, we can just light each pile one at a time. <laughs> We're teaching my mom, reteaching my mom how to use a circle saw. Oh. You did it. <laughs> As many of you know, we're heating our home with an outdoor wood boiler. So Craig is getting the area prepped and level and ready to go. While he does that, my mom and I are getting the supplies ready for the little concrete pad that's gonna go underneath the wood boiler. I'm cutting the form boards, my mom's cutting the stakes, and I'm cutting rebar. Wow. Woo! Well, stomp dragon. <laughs> The gravel for the wood boiler concrete pad is finally here. If you watched last week's video, you might remember that I didn't pass inspection, that my inspector needed me to do a few more things before we could get ready for concrete. So we got that work done and I've sent him the pictures and next time I'm here, we're gonna put up some extra wood around the form boards. And after a long, emotional, sweaty, and hard working day like today, it's important to replenish my electrolytes. And that brings us to today's sponsor, Element. Element is one of the first things I drink when I get home because it reduces or eliminates headaches, helps with fatigue and sleepiness, and it really helps me with my energy after a long day and it's important for me to find a natural solution without the food dyes without the extra added sugar and without the artificial ingredients electrolytes facilitate hundreds of functions in the body including the conduction of nerve impulses hormonal regulation nutrient absorption and fluid balance that's two perfect ways to refresh and if you're looking for a way to refresh after a long day of work be sure to check out element linked in my description at drinkelement.com backslash beata that's dr R I N K L M N T dot com backslash Beata for your free eight sample pack of all of Element's different flavors with any purchase. And that's it for today, and I'll see you in a few days for some more excavating. Well, <laughs> good morning. I got <clears throat> really sick over the weekend. Fever, flu, all of that. It was like after I failed my inspection, my body just shut down. So, 
This is how I sound. I think I'm gonna have to do a lot of voiceovers today. I'm here with the excavator and I have my husband here with me and he's gonna help me put an extra two inches of wood all the way around the form boards to hope to be able to pass inspection tomorrow. So you are going to add strapping to the form boards. I don't understand what you're <laughs> saying. <laughs> strapping to the form boards, okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna dig a trench, add gravel to the pad over there. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I need help with the big O. He hates big O. <laughs> and this is extra big O, six inch big O. I laid down electric caution tape because there's gonna be wires going through that four inch big O. Now the six inch big O is gonna have the water lines that are going from the water boiler all the way to our house to heat our home. And I'm putting down some gravel for the little concrete pad that's going here that our wood boiler is gonna go on top of. Okay, that's all the time we have until this afternoon. I'm gonna come back by myself because I have two and a half hours left on the excavator, so oh, see you then. Okay, back to it. Okay, the gravel pad is ready. And now I'm gonna move this pile of gravel closer to the front of our foundation. Now it would make the most sense to take this A gravel and top coat our driveway with it because we haven't top coated the driveway yet. But as you can see, this gravel is like a grayish blue color and our driveway is pink. And I absolutely love the pink gravel. It just costs a bit more money. So I'm gonna wait to top coat most of our driveway with the pink gravel. But because this pile was in our parking lot and our parking lot desperately needs more gravel, I'm just gonna spread some out here and then go over it again when we get more pink gravel to top coat the rest of the driveway. time around I only rented the excavator for the eight hours because we only needed a couple of tasks done. We got the brush moved, we got the wood boiler pad ready to go, and now it's time to get prepped and ready for concrete. Well, I'm here with a buck this morning. My voice is sounding better, which is good. I'm feeling a lot better, and hopefully Today I can pass inspection. I just got word from my inspector because I sent him photos of everything I did on Friday and he said I'm, I'm good to go for concrete. So that is good news, I'm approved. And then I have a lot of like just little tasks to do today. I should write a to-do list. Excavator is gonna be picked up soon so I'm just gonna bring it down to the end of the driveway and grade it as I go. There we go. Now there's gonna be no more hump in the middle of our driveway. Next up, I'm gonna spray foam the cracks that are in between the form boards. Originally, there weren't any gaps at all, but because the wood sat out in the sun, it shrank a bit, and so I'm gonna fill it with some foam. Okay, now that that is done, next up, I'm gonna do the foundation for the wood boiler. got the mini concrete pad done and it's the end of my day and I will see you on concrete day. Oh 
my goodness, it's concrete day. There's Kyle. <laughs> this is crazy. So we have the pump truck here. I cannot get over how absolutely massive this thing is and Kyle and AJ are going around and setting where everything is level by using a transit because the boards aren't all at the same height, so they're just tacking in a nail where the concrete's gonna go. That was definitely my bad, but they're figuring it out and concrete should be here in the next like half hour. So there's parts on my form board where I'm too low for concrete, so I'm adding some more form boards to it to get it to the proper height. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous now with the concrete being so much higher. The concrete's gonna come up higher than I ever intended it to, so I decided to cut some more bracing and attach it. But before I knew it, concrete's here. I can't believe it. Oh, you were so close to going in. No, no, go forward. Go forward. Go forward a bit. <laughs> What's concrete day without a good old morning panic attack? And he probably didn't need my backseat driving to begin with. Go do like a section, 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 do it in three swaths probably. It is so loud here right now and so fast paced, like unbelievably fast paced. But Kyle and the pump guy have both said that my form boards are holding up really great, which is amazing. The second truck of concrete is here and we have two more, maybe three more after that. This whole day is just crazy to me that I'm finally here and something concrete, pun intended, is happening and it's just such an amazing feeling uh, driving here this morning i was in tears right now i'm just full of excitement and i can't wait to see how the rest of the day goes Okay, so we didn't necessarily like have a blowout, but the concrete was poured too close to the like boards. But this is totally my fault because I needed to put up more bracing and I didn't get to it the last few days. I was trying to get it all done this morning and I did not get to this side. So now we're stuck with a side that has a bow in it. We fixed it up as best as we can. I'm gonna go around and put some more braces up higher. That way that shouldn't happen again. And on the side that bowed, I'm sure there's a solution. I just have to put my mind to it. So any suggestions in the comments would be amazing. I can't believe this day is happening. It's still just blowing my mind. I'm so glad I hired this out. Like, of all the things to hire out, all the people told me to hire this out because it's something that you can't really take your time with. Like, you guys know me. Every time I'm doing a project, it always takes me so much longer than I think it's gonna take me. Concrete, you don't have time to mess around. You don't have time to run into town because you forgot something. You have to get it done, so. I'm so thankful I've hired this out. I'm able to watch the process and I've been able to learn a thing or two along the way. So you just go along like this, getting rid of the bubbles?
not believe how quickly this day is going by like to already be starting to float the foundation and the fact that all the concrete is in is just mind-blowing to me and the pump truck is leaving the afternoon isn't going like overly smoothly because the sun and the wind is drying off the top of the concrete a lot so Kyle's having a hard time with all the concrete just kind of like flaking at the top and in some spots the top three inches are hard but then below that it's soft and it's like you're walking on waves it's been really weird to work with I've been trying to get the anchor bolts in and this side has set so much so quickly at this point we're basically racing against the heat We are almost done. It's almost five o'clock and they expected to be here until like 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And we're almost done. Like we're gonna be out of here probably in the next half hour. So that's how quickly it settled today, just from the sun and the wind. It set so fast on the top and then it was sloppy in the middle because there was so much concrete. It was a bit of a rush of a day. Like it felt like once we started, we never stopped. And like, thank God, Thank God I hired them, right? Cause like I would have been so in over my head. They're experienced and even they were like, this is setting too fast. So I'm so happy though. We have a floor, we can start framing. We're gonna have a home soon. Thank you so much for watching this incredible concrete journey. And thank you to Kyle and AJ and all the amazing concrete people here today. And if you haven't yet, like, comment, and subscribe is the best way to support me and my family. And with that, I will see you next week. I hope they didn't deliver it to the wrong address. Oh no.